Hello everybody, my name is Benji and welcome back to Mindustry, where today I'm doing something that I said I wasn't gonna do. We are currently in the middle of capturing the coastline, which I said I'm not gonna bother recording coastline because it's not of any specific note to us, and I lied. Uh, so first of all, what I have done in the meantime is I made a blueprint for osmium liquid. And it has a whole bunch of different inputs. You've got a water input here on the right, titanium input here on the right as well. That makes the cryofluid, which goes into the osmium liquid condensers. And then we have the ton forge with the lead, titanium, and silica inputs. And then the output here of the actual osmium liquid. And I have that set up here because I want osmium liquid for my defense. Defense, in terms, we have the Stellars, which are the high explosive uh, astrolite shooters. We have the Lakes, which are the essentially ground missiles. They're tridents uh, used for defense of deep waters, and they have a huge attack range, like absolutely ginor ginormous. So we have a bunch of those here defending because we have a lot of water based enemies. And then we have the Photons for our air to air combat as well and I'll just go on ahead and show off what a wave is going to look like I'm pretty sure these two ah it's like two flares of course it is the flares always end up missing this defense and get taken out up here by these photons uh, sometimes they hit the power grid but that's why I have all of these polys here it's literally the entire reason. But anyway, the reason why that I'm actually recording this is because of the fact there's thorium here. <laughs> and thorium's the next resource that we need to unlock some stuff. So everything that I've done is literally the same. I've got drones, I've got metaglass, I've got graphite, I've got titanium, silica, astralite, altuxium, osmium, stellar steel, valvanite, and vulcanite. I have every single resource already being produced. With the exception of, we now can get thorium. Like, we just, we have access to thorium now, and <laughs> honestly, I think that's pretty neat, because I wasn't expecting to get access to thorium for a very long time. Um, and then I just, I got into this zone, and I'm like, hey, wait a second, on the map it says this has thorium, so where's the thorium? And it's right here. So as soon as we hook this into power and actually start mining it, it's going to give us a message of like, hey, congratulations, you have thorium. And I'm going to be like, no shit, Sherlock, of course I have thorium. I'm the one that just unlocked it, you moron. Um, but then we'll be able to actually show off what thorium can do for us, and also see what thorium can do for us in the exogenesis mod. I don't like being so slow. New content unlocked, thorium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's almost eight, so that's actually worth it to just put down one of these guys, because these are worth eight of these guys. And there we go, now we have thorium. I'm going to have to figure out how to actually bring this stuff home because it is a long and strenuous journey through a lot of belt work to get there. But I'll figure that out off camera. But as you can see already going into here, we have tons of things that just got unlocked. We've got the vault, the nucleus, the thermal pump, which is just a better output of liquids. Uh, an alloy smelter, so surge alloy. The oil extractor, which will give us access to plastanium on this sector, which I think I'm actually going to prioritize that. Logic processor, who cares? Thorium reactor, better power source. Thorium walls, better defense. Fuse. Tsunami, more turrets. Nothing modded by the look of things. Uh, and the multiplicative reconstructor, of course, is going to be a thing. And after the multiplicative, I believe we end up getting the next, like, version of the Helixian reconstructor. 
And at some point else, we also get access to more modded stuff, but we'll see how that goes once I actually start getting some thorium and doing some unlocks. So I'm going to route the belts, and I will be right back. Alright, you guys were probably yelling at me in the comments, like, Benji, there's more thorium. You missed the more thorium. I did miss the more thorium. I completely missed it. I did not see this thorium patch at all. I completely and entirely miss it. I was looking around on the map for more titanium because I'm going to need titanium in order to do oil. And then I just, I look down and I see, oh, that's more thorium. So we're going to tap the, the rest of the juicy, juicy thorium because there's not a lot of it. And I want as much throughput of thorium as I can possibly maintain because of the fact that I want to just get everything ASAP. I want to get all of the thorium research. And we already have 600. Wrong button. But 600 is not 3,500. So, yeah. <laughs> We're back to waiting. But I did see it. And also, multiplicative derelict reconstructor. Obviously, naval. So, we can get rid of that. Also, mass driver. Mass drivers are fantastic. I'm pretty sure this unlocks the mass driver. It's essentially, um, well, it's a mass driver. I don't really know how else to describe it. But essentially, you put one here, one here, and it launches from this one to this one. So long as they both have power. So. They're pretty cool. I like them a lot. They make building things in small areas very effective. Man, look at those things fire. They do not mess around at all. And I don't want to waste my time by skipping through the waves, otherwise we'll never have enough thorium by the time we capture the zone. So I'm just going to leave it as is, and I'll be back with something of note. Now this will be fun to see. Yeah, look at them just open up. That's fantastic. Where'd those bombers end up going? Oh, they're not bombers. Wait, what are those? They're not naval units, and they're not air units. What are those? They're crawlers. Why are they? They're going this way. I'm assuming they're probably routing up through this area to get to the base. I mean, they're going to be dead here in a second. Look at them go. They're, to they're so tiny. They're so slow. Yep, there they go. Alright, back to waiting for thorium. Okay, so we have enough thorium. We can at least get the oil extractor now. Uh, we could probably eh, almost get the alloy smelter as well, which is good. But now I want to blueprint ourselves a plastanium design. So one oil extractor. Wow, efficiency 30%. It requires specific tiles now? That's stupid is what that is. 70%. And then this will make it 160%. I didn't know that. That's stupid. I don't like that. Because our only real option for... Well, just about anything... Well, no, there's some titanium up here. Never mind, we could do it here. We could do it here. So, 70% effective. It needs one sand every second and nine water every second. Each one of these things does six water per second. So, if we do... 
One oil extractor. Let's assume 100%. One oil extractor. We could do like this to power two oil extractors. But then we're going to need sand. Which I guess if we did even more water, that would do it. Because water will put it at 2.56. I hate that it does that. Like whenever you go into like the research tab or whatever and then leave the research tab, it puts you back to where you're standing instead of where you were looking. I feel like that's a dumb design choice, honestly. Okay, now that we're back here, that should cover those. So oil extractors produce 15 oil every second. Plastanium compressors need 15 oil every second, so that's nice. And we can do this. And then we can do similar to how we have the other one in that we have titanium come in and then plastanium come out and then bonk one of I guess we could make it a big one one of those guys and boom now we have plastanium Except I'm going to want to actually make it easily tileable like this. Boom. Plastanium MK1. There are more efficient designs out there, but this design is mine. I like using my own designs, so don't yell at me. There are much more efficient designs out there. But I like my designs. I like designing things myself. It's one of the things that is very fun about factory building games is that I can design stuff myself and see how well it works and see how good my problem solving abilities are. So, don't yell at me. All that matters at the end of the day is whether or not you're having fun playing your video games. And if you have fun by... Ooh, Guardian. If you have fun by making the most efficient thing possible, no matter what, then by all means, go for it. And if you're like me, and you have fun just by playing the video game, then just play the video game. Nobody can tell you that there is a right way to play video games. Because there's not. There is no right way to play video games. You just play the video game. It is really that simple. However you want to play the video game is however you want to play the video game. That is all I can say. All right, so now that that l not lead, now that, that titanium is in the system, that won't go that way. Well, time to reroute some water, I guess. Yeah, rear out the water. Give me the titanium. Or not titanium, give me the plastanium. And I don't I don't know, find somewhere that it actually makes it to the core. <laughs> this is where having a mass driver would help immensely in organization because woof this place is starting to become a spaghetti monster mess like just look at that look at the way that i just had to do that that was 
Can I call it abysmal? I think I'm gonna call it abysmal. I think it's abysmal. Yeah, I do. I do. I think it's abysmal. I think I'm gonna call it abysmal. <laughs> But now that we have plastinium being produced, there it is. We're gonna unlock even more things. Some of which are more than likely gonna be modded, if I had to take a wild guess. Granted, it is just a wild guess, but hey, I don't make the rules. And then instead, I'm actually gonna do that. That way, everything is a little more evenly distributed. And hey, plastanium is in fact flowing. Not fast, but it is flowing. And that'll make it so that we always have a full belt of titanium flowing. I'm hesitant to add another belt because, yes, yeah, spaghetti. So we're not going to add another belt. We're just going to deal with it how it is currently. Are we actually going to get plastanium in the core anytime soon? How slow is it? I think it's just about to make it. Yep, we're about to see the first one hit the core right now. There it is. A lot of resources. So let's see what that unlocked. Ah, it unlocked the armored conveyor, plated conduit, phase conduit, and phase conveyor. The silica crucible, which I'm never going to ever use. The alloy smelter. Whoa. Modded. Nuclear Fusion Furnace. Alphandax Iron. Copper, Lead, Titanium, and Vulcanite to make Alphandax Iron. Gamma Radiation Forge. Lumionite Alloy from Valvanite. So this is essentially the modded version of the surge alloy for each faction because there's four factions there's the 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 these guys the genesis um there's a couple of other ones as well that we obviously haven't unlocked yet but there's a couple of other factions um the genesux whatever this one is essentially there's blue green Red and yellow. Those are the different factions. That's how I understand it. So this is the green, Gamma Radiation Forge. This is the red, the Nuclear Fission for or Fusion Forge. The Electro Arc Forge. And there's not a blue one as far as I can tell. But wow, holy shit. And then the Disassembler, right? Because Plastanium, it makes scrap and slag into graphite sand, titanium, and thorium. Uh, what's this thing? The kiloton forge needs lead, blast compound, silicone, and titanium to make osmium. Wow. That's crazy. So that's just an upgraded ton forge. It, it just uses plastanium, or, or, well, plastanium, yes, but blast compound to make it more efficient on the silica, titanium, and lead front to make osmium. Because it's a 1 to 3... Uh, like a 2 to 6, and like a 1 to 6 versus this one. Yeah, it's just a little more efficient. Very interesting. And then the battery diode, yeah. Plastanium walls, that was expected. The swarmer. What are you? The ocean! An ocean defense turret fires three energy tridents at super long range. 
300 power units, 62 blocks versus the puddle, which is our, or sorry, the lake, which is already 56. That's crazy. It's even farther. Plastanium, Valvanite, what are you? Metaglass Forage? And Silica Kiln? Astrolite and Sand to make Silica. 2 to 4. So, a 1 to 2 and a 2 to 3 ratio versus, well, 1 to 2 stays the same, 1 to 2 gets a little better on the sand department, but the astrolite stays the same. Uh, I don't know if there's a purpose to that. Just time, I guess, space maybe? And the Metaglass Forge doesn't give me any information, so I have no idea. I doubt that's going to be worth it. It might, though. Uh, didn't we already have... No, we had Devil, not Demon. 200 area damage? Heavy artillery that predates the war between Volot and Gretan regions. Fires devastating artillery that shatters into a bombardment of artillery. What? So input slag plus coal or blast. Blast compound 480, 15 frag bullets at 235. 10 ammo per shot, 0.2 per second. Wow, okay, that sounds OP, but also a little intriguing. And then the Vanguard, 21, 30, th surge, 32, wow, and then blast 40 damage. Shotgun that can either shoot burning, freezing, or electric bullets and has a lot of knockback, cannot target air. Holy shit. Oh, my doggie's barking. Vansterium Steel. Lumionite. Alphandax. So we have not yet seen... I was just looking at it. Siravoxa metal. Siravoxa metal is something we're not yet familiar with. And it looks like some of these are at the end of their chains. Well, no, because sometimes the chains can still be hidden, I suppose. Okay, um, some stuff to look into, but all of that stuff that we're going to end up looking into require thorium and plastanium. So we need to just hoard and stockpile these materials before we can actually begin advancing on some of the stuff that we're taking a look at now. Wow. <laughs> all right. So things are obviously progressing well in the modded front. We're getting into, I suppose I'd call it the mid-game when we start unlocking thorium and plastanium. When thorium and plastanium become the beginning materials akin to silica and graphite, uh, yeah, that's when we're definitely in the late game. But wow. That's crazy. All right, I'm just going to keep stockpiling materials, and I'll bring you guys back in if I have anything of note to show you. All righty, it's the Guardian. Let's see how fast the Guardian gets absolutely minced. That's a tier four. Yeah, that's a tier four. That's a tier four of the mink tree. Or the Retusa tree, not the Mink tree. I think the Riso turns into the Mink, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Riso turns into the Mink, turns into something else, turns into the fourth tier. Retusa turns into something else, turns into something else. And this is the fourth tier of that something else tree. I forget what it does. We probably won't even get a chance to see it. Like, in operation, because it's just going to get demolished. Oh, okay, so it has healing, and it has what looks to be an EMP. Oh, lasers. It's causing some damage. I got it, but it caused some decent damage. Like, it took out 
a couple of things here. Intriguing. Quite intriguing. And these, they're, they're gonna die as soon as they come in range of these lakes. There they go. Zone captured. <laughs> now, we have unlocked a lot of stuff today. Like, we've got new conveyor systems, we've got new, like, we've got the vault, we've got apparently another tier after the vault with the Lumionite alloy. We've got the Surge alloy. We've got a whole bunch of things that we need to look into next time. I did find the Cold Plasma Fuser. It's the one that does the Siravoxa metal. So I did find that. Um, the issue is just the fact that I'm not going to be able to unlock it all today. I don't have the time in my recording block here to actually like get through all of it. So next time... We're going to have to go through the Electro Arc Forge, the Gamma Radiation Forge, the Nuclear Fusion Forge, and the Cold Plasma Fuser in order to unlock everything else and actually go forth with the process. So we'll have an entire episode next time dedicated to automation by the sound of things. And for the meantime, that is going to be everything. So... Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. But without further ado, adios, sayonara, au revoir, hasta la vista, das fedania, vida zien, ciao, and goodbye. Please have yourselves all a fantastic rest of your day. Get some sleep if you need to. Don't forget to stay hydrated. This video is in the bag, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.